Okay, so we have a set of uh, templates on here. The A4 one is perfectly good for doing t-shirts. And I've got my pre-designed artwork on my USB stick there. So I'm just going to track it down and uh, copy it into Photoshop. Now obviously if you know Photoshop you can resize things and do whatever you want. But I'm not going to be showing you any of that today. We're just going to print one design. Although in with this shape we could actually do three t-shirts. Because we're printing on a dark t-shirt that includes like dark red, purple, black. We're going to use dark paper. And we obviously print on the shiny side. Obviously, it's way more cost effective to do two or three designs on a, on a sheet. So, but I'm just doing an example. So we're going to print and then we print again. Just proceed. We have to make sure we're on the correct printer, which is the two, three, five. Okay. And we don't, we don't mirror this one. We just print normally. Wow, that looks pretty impressive. Now, I've chosen a very simple shape because when you print on dark clothes, dark t-shirts, you have to cut the shape out. So if you've got some weird logo or what have you, it's very difficult. So whilst that's uh, drying or printing, we just prep a few bits of uh, heat tape. This is not for sticking the design down necessarily. It's just to, uh, to mark where it's got to go actually on your t-shirt. So when you're printing on dark clothing, you have to cut around your design, otherwise the white will actually print on your t-shirt as white. Um, so the simpler shape possible really, and you would normally leave a few millimeters gap around it, but I don't really like that. So I'm going to uh, cut it nice and tight onto the actual design. I've cut out my shape, now we just need to position it onto the t-shirt. So I reckon somewhere around there. But what I normally do is just do a quick measurement. So that's roughly 19 and a half centimeters. That's not. So we're going to move it across that way. So now we've got 18 and a half and 18 and a half. And a quick measurement there, 18 and a half, 18 and a half. It's just to make sure it's all square. Okay, so now using the heat tape, we're just going to mark up where we want the design because uh, we can't actually stick this down. So, but try not to get the heat tape underneath your design because it won't stick. Okay, so we've now made, like, marked out where we want our design. So I'm just putting this on here without, so the collar goes off the edge, okay? That's where we're gonna have our design. Now this is the most awkward bit and that is removing the backing off of the dark paper. This might take me some time. Removing the uh, backing off of here is really quite quite hard sometimes and the front, the bit that's got the print on, is now extremely thin and fragile and will curl. So now we just place it down the best we can without any folds or what have you where we want it. I think that looks quite good. Be patient, no need to rush. Right, put that on there. This will stop the ink from coming up and damaging the equipment. And the Teflon will just disperse the heat nicely. So now we've got our design in there. We're gonna turn this on. We're gonna let, let it heat up to the 170 degrees or so that it needs to be. And that will take probably a few minutes. So we're getting to our 170 degrees or so. It will fluctuate a little bit. So when we're happy, we can just press this down. You don't want to overcook it, but you don't want to undercook it either. Now, to be sure, we won't remove the whole thing just in case something drastic's happened. But to me, that looks really good. Pull that off really carefully. There you go, and then we can just remove remove the tabs. So when you need to wash this, it's best to wash it inside out. 